क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स सेज दट अ चौक कोयल हैज हाई इंडक्टेंस एंड लो रेजिस्टेंस हाई रेजिस्टेंस एंड लो इंडक्टेंस हाई इंडक्टेंस एंड हाई रेजिस्टेंस और लो इंडक्टेंस एंड लो रेजिस्टेंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ कंसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन अ चौक कोयल इज प्रिफर टू हैव अ हाई इंडक्टेंस एंड अ लो रेजिस्टेंस अव अ हाई वैल्यू ऑफ इंडक्टेंस इंश्योर्स दैट द वेरिएशन ऑफ करंट एंड वोल्टेजेस आर मिनिमाइज्ड वेयर एज अ लो रेजिस्टेंस इंश्योर्स दैट व्हेन द चौक कोयल इज यूज्ड द पावर डिसिपेशन और द पावर लॉस इज एज मिनिमम एज पॉसिबल देयरफॉर द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन शुड बी ऑप्शन नंबर 1 नाउ लेट अस प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द टेस्ट व्हिच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 37 Question number thirty-seven says that an inductor and a capacitor is connected across a source for a long time, as shown in the figure. If key K is shifted from position one to position two at t is equal to zero, then differential equation that correctly describes the variation of charge Q with time t can be expressed as. Now, dear students, let us assume when the switch is shifted from position one to position two. then this plate has a charge q and this plate has some charge minus q of the capacitor now using kirchhoff's law we can write that potential difference across the inductor but plus potential difference across the capacitor should be equal to zero which means that minus l di by dt plus q by c should be equal to zero dear students here in dq by dt will be equal to minus i which means that di by dt will be equal to minus d2q by dt square on substituting the values in this expression we can write that l d2q by dt square plus q by c is zero therefore dear students the correct answer for this particular question is option number 2 this can be obtained by dividing this whole equation by l which reduces it to d2q by dt square plus q by lc is equal to 0 now dear students let us proceed to the next question which is question number 38 question number 38 says that the primary and secondary coils of a transformer have 500 and 1000 turns respectively if magnetic flux phi Link with each turn of primary coil is given by phi is equal to 2 plus 2t, where phi is in Weber and t is time in second. The output voltage across the secondary coil will be. Now, dear students, the net flux through the primary would be equal to 500 into phi. That is 500 into 2 plus 2t. The EMF. in the primary that is induced would be equal to d phi across the primary by dt which will be equal to 500 into d of 2 plus 2t by dt which will be equal to 1000 volts now dear students we can write that es that is emf across secondary by ep that is emf across primary is equal to ns by np which means that es is equal to ep into ns by np on substituting the given values we can write ep to be equal to 1000 multiplied by ns that is the number of turns in secondary coil which is given to be equal to 1000 divided by number of turns in the primary which is 500 this turns out to be equal to 2000 volts and therefore the output voltage across the secondary coil will be 2000 volts which makes the option number 4 as a correct answer dear students let us proceed to the next question in the test which is question number 39 question number 39 says a 100 watt 100 volt lamp is to be connected to an ac mains of 200 volt 50 hertz the capacitance of the capacitor required to be put in series with the lamp is nearly now dear students if a 100 watt power is being dissipated through 100 volt we can find out the resistance of the lamp we can use the formula that power is equal to v square by r which means dear students that 100 is equal to 100 square by r which means that r is equal to 100 ohms 
Now, dear students, when a R of 100 ohms is used with a 100 volt supply, then the current that will pass can be calculated using I is equal to V by R. That will be equal to 100 divided by 100, that is 1 ampere. Now, dear students, when the AC mains is of 200 volt, it means that 200 divided by R would be the current that passes after the supply is connected which will be equal to 2 amperes. Therefore, the current that is passing is more than the current that can be sustained by the lamp and hence to reduce the current some extra reactants can be connected in this series in this circuit. Now dear students to reduce the current through the resistor from 2 amperes to 1 ampere we can use the formula that current is equal to voltage divided by impedance which will be equal to voltage divided by under root of R square plus X square. Using the current's value as 1 ampere we can calculate that 1 is equal to 200 divided by 100 square plus X square. On solving this expression we can find out X to be equal to 100 root 3 ohms. Now dear students for a capacitor X is equal to 1 by omega C. Therefore, 1 by omega C is equal to 100 root 3 or C is equal to 1 by omega into 100 root 3. Now, dear students, in the question, the frequency of the mains is given to be 50 hertz. Therefore, omega which is equal to 2 pi into frequency can be written to be equal to 100 pi radian per second. On substituting this value, we can get C to be equal to 100 pi into 100 root 3. Now, dear students, this turns out to be approximately equal to 18 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 farads or 18 micro farad. And hence, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 4. Now, dear students, let us proceed to question number 40. Question number 40 says a series LCR AC circuit is shown in the figure. If L is removed from the circuit, Current leads voltage by 45 degree, while if C is removed, current lags the voltage by 45 degree. Then the current flowing through the original circuit will be. Now, dear students, if the inductor is removed, then only the capacitor remains the circuit. And if the angle by which the current leads the voltage is 45 degree, we can write that tan 45 will be equal to R by Xc. Now, if the capacitor is removed, the current lags the voltage by 45 degree. Using the similar concept, we can write that tan 45 is equal to R by Xn. From these two equations, we can see that Xc is equal to Xl, which dear students means that 1 by omega C is equal to omega L. Or in other words, we can write that omega is equal to 1 by under root Lc, which means that the circuit is in resonance. Now, dear students, when the circuit is in resonance, the effective impedance of the circuit is equal to the resistance of the circuit. In such a case, the current can be written to be equal to V by Z, which will be equal to V by R. In the question, V is given to be 100 and R is given to be 50. Therefore, the current will be equal to 2 amperes. And hence, the correct answer for this particular question would be option number 3. Now dear students, let us proceed to the next question of the test which is question number 41. 